Yo, what's up, you guys? Um, this is a quick little update. I took it apart. I'm on neutral down. Dashboard is off, and uh, the flow on is off. Uh, what else? Everything is off except the the sub harness, which is uh, I guess the under dash harness. That's what they call. That which is underneath the AC cabinet. Which is my my original plan was to swap out all these harness. This is from the LX my uh, my original car, which is now a donor. And I, yeah, the first plan was to swap out this off and swap this one in there because this is obviously you know doesn't have power no power window no um, power switch it's just manual everything manual which is i'm not a big fan of that i wanted an electrical you know door panels and power mirrors which is you know manual mirrors which is i didn't want it so i wanted a uh, power right so i found a way maybe i can just Instead of swapping out the whole thing, the sub harness or under dash harness or whatever it's called, I was thinking maybe I could just uh, find another way and just follow up the harness from the passenger side of the door where the speaker's at, the loop between the fender and the door, the little grommet, and just follow up and where it takes me that. That's which is, which is, this is the this is the driver's side, you know, fuse box. This is the cruise control. By the way, cruise control is from the donor car. It doesn't have a cruise control. So I'm not worried about the cruise control. This is the passenger side. So I was thinking, this is the passenger side grommet, which is the passenger side front door. By the way, guys, I forgot to say that I'm not sure if there's the same uh, coupe or hatch, but um, I hope it is. If it's a hatch, let's say it's a DX, you need a SI, I mean EX. You need an EX harness for the power ones. If you have a SI or, or what else, DX. The one that doesn't have a power, this is it. So the hatch, but like for you guys, need you need an EX. The one that have the sunroof, but those that have powers. You, you, you need to grab one of those harness. I'm not sure if it's a procedure the same, but I hope it is. Um, so yeah, let me show you. But I was saying that this is the, the passenger grommet that goes in there. Passenger front, not the passenger rear. Passenger front, that goes in here. And I'm gonna do it and just slice it up from here all the way follow up, including this, take this off. Follow up all the way to so I believe here, because that's where it stops. No, right here, my bad. That's where it stops me. Which is that connected to the driver's side. And then I think you're gonna need all of it. I think you're gonna need all this wire, except I believe it's red or brown or something, which is gonna be the radio. And, um, you know, obviously the radio wire, there's two wires for the speakers. So I hope it works. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, the plan is what it is, you know, but uh, I've been doing the research on Honda Tech. By the way, guys, I'm still I'm still on the membership on Honda Tech since 2007, I believe. And I still read out there because it's, it's pretty good information out there, so. Um, and as of right now, there's not there's not a lot of quite um how do you call it how do you say a lot of uh, information for power conversion for four door. There's one out there for like a coupe a hatch, but it's not uh, good content. I guess that's the way it is. That's the way I said it. So I try to give you a good content how to, what should not, but yeah, um, let's get cut, let's get started and I'll show you how to do, well, you know how to cut it, you just 
what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna slide this up. Nothing about me, just the harness protector. Other way, it makes my, makes my life easier. And I'll show you. And like you see, first you guys gotta take out the whole point, the whole thing. And, and, and again, for hatch and coop, I'm not sure if it's the same, but if it is, kudos. If not, sorry, but I don't have a hatch or coop, I just have a four door, but I hope it's similar. So, um, first thing you do is take out the seat, blow carpet, they got the blow harness. Um, the one that doesn't have power, check out everything off. That way it would make your life easier. Then get the power harness and let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. But yeah, you see, I've already done my job in here. So I took everything off, the panels and carpet, blow harness and whatnot, you know. But yeah, I knew right then, once you get to the point where you take everything off, you're ready to, to uh, convert your power and follow the step up let's get started okay this is what i do is the passenger grommet right look at all that and you here this is a floorboard for the sedan this is out of uh the power car okay so for you for those of you those of you who has has to cook this this hot floor harness must be a, a ex guys the mind and lx this is where the kick panel goes at the other powers go that so what i'm gonna do is you tell this is already sticking them off i'm gonna take it apart and then just follow up the wire i'm gonna need all this all this and keep all that harness just follow it and take it apart from the other bunch that's a, and i think i think that they're gonna be two wires attached one in here but i don't need that so i'm gonna depend it or cut it just two wires and then you keep this these that that and that all together but they are wrapped up so let's untangle and i'll show you and that's how i did it it's a grommet I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm gonna confuse this. Just follow up. That's the plate room. Okay, so this is gonna be underneath. Just black wire. Okay, I'm gonna go to there. So yeah, just start separating them, but then I cut the grommet and follow up. Okay, I start separating. That's the passenger grommet. Separated it from the main harness, right? That's the main harness. We're gonna have, like I said, two wires. This. You have to cut this. And I think, I believe it goes. Cut it this. Either you cut them or depend them. And these two that comes off of that blade, you're gonna connect it to the one that are in your car right now and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna cut this and i'll show you where i'm at okay once you um on the last stage stage of cutting the wire or whatever you're on the last two wire this two wire it goes all the way to behind this fuel box this fuel box this great top i'm sure eg has coupe and it's on the same thing but I'm not sure if it's the same. But I mind these two uh, go facing towards this, of course. These two are either you cut them or depend them. Depend them. And I, I'm gonna depend them and take all this off and put these two wire on my uh, driver's side fuse box. These two are here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but these two and two, just do the red and brown, take it off, and then use the, the new wire in there. And depend on them, boom, wrap it up. Then you have a power. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'll show you how it works. But 
I don't think I'm gonna get anything done today because I still got a lot of work to do. So that's how you do power conversion. Okay, I depend them. You know, you can depend them. Not too hard. You can see I dab myself right right there in my hand. You see. But it's really there. So this is. I don't need them no more. So I'm honest. I'm gonna keep these. I'm keeping these and these. So I'm gonna wrap up the tape and put this um, back in the fuse box and connect it. Then it should be done. All right, you guys. So once you shove it in there on the power, well, on the EX or LX power doors, you shove it in there. Put it this right in there. Yeah, I made my own harness here. I made my own harness here. I ran over here, go over there, and I show sure. you the other side. This is what, what I did. Remember, I do on on the pin this. This gonna go around the right here. Is know where the power goes, but I'm gonna pin this. And yeah, you should have everything power in there. So yeah, that's how you do it. Power conversion on the e DX model. Hopefully, hopefully on the hatchback or what's it called? Hatchback, DX model, LX, or anything that doesn't have a conversion, it should help out. But I tried for the coupe and the hatch, I tried to explain, but this is more like a sedan, four door. So I hope everything information and got is covered so if you have any have questions comment them below and then uh, i'll reply so um make sure you guys come subscribe and, and hit the like button and so you guys can get a notification every time i upload a new video so stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time so you guys uh, uh before i end the video i forgot to uh mention uh the doors the doors you have to have a uh, power doors like let me show you these are manual doors i don't think it's gonna work you gotta have some power doors you gotta swap it out i i'm not sure if you can conversion uh, or make it into power but in my case easier way is just to swap out the doors off four door because by the way my other four doors are better than better condition better shape than this you know that's a thing and there to put that in there but i'm not worried about it so i'm just gonna drop out the doors or it, i'm not sure if you can make a power into manual doors i'm not sure on that but if i was you or me in my case i'm just gonna drop out the doors easier because i'm just gonna plug it in plug and play as you can see you're gonna have to cut too I forgot to tell you that i cut this for the four door you gotta cut those to make it work so, so the harness can work in there and um i just want to have everything clear before i just shut down color the day and um i think i covered it all if you guys have any questions you let me know um so yeah don't forget to uh, post your your notifications so every time i upload your you get notified all right you guys you have a good day Peace.